Hello everyone, and welcome to this video. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up Lightspeed Web Server on a cPanel server. So let's get started. First, visit lightspeed.sh and copy the installer command. Run the command with the license key. Only the first question needs to be answered with a Y. You can press enter to continue through the rest of the prompt. After the installation is finished, a random password for the web admin console will be displayed. You can use this command to reset the login information. Next, log in to WHM. Go to the Lightspeed web server page. There may be a warning about mod RUID like this. Let's remove it. Go to the Easy Apache page and click Customize. Then click the Apache modules and search for mod RUID. Uncheck it. Then go to Review, then Provision. Now, go back to the Lightspeed page. The warning should be gone now. You can change the port offset in order to run Lightspeed and Apache in parallel for testing purposes. During installation, we had it set to 1000 already, so there's no need to adjust it again. Now, restart Lightspeed. This will make Lightspeed and Apache run in parallel. The 1000 is the difference between Lightspeed and Apache. For example, if Apache is on port 80, then Lightspeed will be on port 1080. Next, let's do a quick check of the PHP info page. Change the URL by adding colon 1443 at the end. If this port will not open, make sure there's no firewall blocking it. The server API shows Lightspeed and FPM fast CGI respectively. Now let's switch the main web server to Lightspeed. This will completely stop Apache. You can quickly switch back and forth between Apache and Lightspeed using these two buttons. Make sure to remember to open the UDP 443 port in your firewall in order to enable QUIC and HTTP3. Now let's set up Lightspeed Cache. Follow the prompt to set up the cache root, which is the directory where the cache files will be saved into. Now we can use the cache manager to mass enable and disable the Lightspeed cache on WordPress sites hosted on the server. Scan the existing sites and go to the plugin page. As you can see, no Lightspeed Cache plugin is installed yet. Go to the Cache Manager and enable it. Now go back to the plugin page and refresh it. The Cache plugin should now show up. You can further customize the setting if needed. Now, verify the cache functionality by checking the HTTP response header. Open the DevTools, go to the Network tab, and visit a page. You can see the cache says HIP. It also shows private cache because we are visiting the page as a logged in user. 
This next step is optional. We are about to install the cPanel plugin. It will enable a user's own cache manager for his or her sites in their cPanel accounts. Lightspeed also can set up ECC certificates. More information about this is included in the link below. Now we are logging into the user cPanel interface. Go to Lightspeed's web cache manager. This is the user's version of the cache manager, which allows users to enable and disable the cache plugin. This next step is also optional. We are going to install Lightspeed Memcached. There is more information about this in the link below. Depending on your server specs and network, this install may take a while. Jump to the seven minute and 15 second mark in this video to skip the installation process. You can run this script in the command line or hook it into the cPanel hook point after create user to run it automatically in order to add new users into LSMCD. In this example, it should now say Lightspeed Guru was added into LSMCD. Lightspeed Guru was the username on the test site we created. Now go to cPanel to the Lightspeed Memcache user manager. We are going to set up a new password for LSMCD. Verify your stats. We also will enable the object cache in the Lightspeed Cache plugin. It now shows that the memcached extension is disabled because WHM doesn't install that by default. Go to the Easy Apache page to customize to PHP extensions. Search for memcached. Be careful not to mistake it with memcache. Install memcached and refresh the page. You may ask why it still says disabled after we've already installed it. This is because of PHP detached mode. There's more information about this link below also. Now we are going to kill the PHP process and let it restart again to load new extensions. Refresh again. Now the memcached extension is enabled. Since we set up the Lightspeed memcached with SASL authentication, type the username. It is the same as your cPanel username and the password we just set in the memcached manager. On save, the page should refresh and show connection test passed. So there you go. We have showed you how to install Lightspeed Web Server on cPanel, how to use WHM Cache Manager, cPanel Cache Manager, and also Lightspeed Memcached integration to cPanel and Lightspeed Cache plugin for WordPress. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it helped you, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. Bye.